Welcome back. There's a question that people ask me a lot, and that is why the prescription is stronger in one eye than the other. Or the same question, basically, why is it that one of the eyes is stronger than the other? And that is a great question, because anybody who asks that question has been paying attention, which is more than can be said for a lot of people. And it's something that the optometrist isn't going to explain to you. At least maybe not correctly. Now here's the deal. And this is science. This is not just my opinion. Every human has one dominant eye. Everybody. Just like if you stand on your two feet, feet together, and somebody pushes your back, you will instinctively move one foot forward. And that is always the same foot, whether it's the left foot or the right foot. That is your dominant foot or leg. The same is true for the eye or the same general premise is true for the eye. Meaning that everybody has a dominant eye. Now, this has been substantiated in lots of studies. It's not really a question in science. We don't know why that is the case, but it is just how it is. Now, the problem starts when when you get prescription lenses for your early myopia, where this difference isn't just acknowledged, but it is compensated for. That's when the problem starts, because you have a dominant eye that's natural and that's normal. Now, what they're doing is they're taking the what they call the weaker eye, even though it is not weaker, and emphasizing the prescription. So you're getting a stronger lens put in front of your quote unquote weaker eye, which is, which is, which just goes to show how, how little care is taken to observe the biology and treat any potential deficiencies meaningfully. I mean, this is, this is just some caveman stuff, quite honestly, like there's plenty of science that shows there's a dominant eye, but then when you go to the optometrist to get a prescription for myopia, they completely ignore this, right? And instead they say, okay, this eye is weak. It's weak. So they give you a stronger prescription for it. Now what happens in a lot of people is that difference between the two eyes that are normally just having a little bit of stronger, weaker, it's not weaker, just dominant and not dominant going on. This gets emphasized from the glasses and now that ratio increases, right? So now the weaker eye gets even weaker, right? And it's not weaker to begin with, but it is now affected by this lens even more so that your natural vision now is even more messed up as it was before, because ever since you started wearing those glasses, now there's being a difference that is being emphasized that was just naturally there. Now, what does all that mean? Basically, when you go to the optometrist and when they give you the first prescription, for most humans, the left and the right eye should have the same numbers. It really, really should. When you get that first prescription, it's like a minus one and a minus 1.5 or a minus 1.25 and minus 1.75. That makes me anxious because what that goes to show is it's not a bad optometrist, but they've been taught poorly and they don't understand the science and they don't understand the biology and they don't understand the long-term effect this has on your vision health. So what you wanna do is, if you already have that difference and it's bigger than a quarter diopter, you can't just erase it. You can't just go back and get an equalized prescription. You can reduce that ratio, but that's kind of a bigger topic that we'll have to talk about maybe another time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and as usual, a little bit of daily life in Bangkok next.